I was going through Josh Dobbs's page on um, his Instagram. No, not on not on the IG. Although he's really good at the TikTok. I was going through his transaction page on Pro Football Reference. Okay. Josh Dobbs, for those who don't know, was a fourth round pick in 2017 out of Tennessee. Played quarterback in the SEC at Tennessee. Went fourth round to the Steelers. That's when Ben was still there. Mm -hmm. It was the end of Charlie Batch's career. So he was kind of going to be the number two. Then he was the number three. And then, you know, a lot of roster shuffling over the years. Josh Dobbs. When you first go to Pro Football Reference and it lists five or six different transactions, and then it says click for more, it says click for 51 other transactions. <laughs> True story. What? Click for 51 other transactions. Oh, no, well, now, this. most of those transactions are on and off of a game day roster. Right. In other words, okay. active, deactive, active, deactive. But if you go back to September 10th of 2017, which is week one of his rookie season, it goes like this. September 10, 2017, deactivated. September 13, activated. September 17, deactivated. 20th, activated. So on and so forth. There's like 25 of those until two years later you get traded to Jacksonville Jaguars. And then the same thing, active, inactive, active, inactive, active, inactive, active, inactive. Hmm. September 5th, 2020, the beginning of that season, waived. September 23rd, activated by the Steelers. He's back in Pittsburgh. Active, inactive, active, inactive. So on and so forth. Eventually, waived. April 14th, 2022, signed by the Cleveland Browns. November 28th, waived by the Cleveland Browns. December 5th, signed by the Lions to the practice squad. Elevated by the Lions, then back to the practice squad. Then, December 21, signed by the Titans. Then, back to the Browns in March. Traded by the Browns in August. Traded by the Cardinals in October. <laughs> then to the Vikings. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, it's bonkers. But of... The teams that he can say were his former teams. Let's go down the list. Would the Pittsburgh Steelers, who won yesterday to get to six and three, but for the ninth time this year were outgained? I mean, that is hard to do. And for the second consecutive game, the Steelers won when their defense picked off the opposing quarterback in the end zone in the final 10 seconds. <laughs> Hey, either of those quarterbacks, Will Levis or yesterday Jordan Love, throws a touchdown, they lose. They picked him off twice. Would the Steelers have looked better yesterday with Josh Dobbs? Anybody? Yeah, yeah 100%. Probably. Yep, I think so too. Kenny Pickett has six touchdowns on the season. They have six wins. Andrew, how can so many teams be wrong? This guy can obviously play this position. It mm. is a, the toughest position in sports. How can so many teams consistently get it wrong with this guy? He is on his sixth team in 11 months, if you include the Browns twice. Sixth team in 11 months. He has 11 touchdowns this year, five picks, passer rating 85, but can also run, use his legs. Obviously a very intelligent person. The smartest quarterback in the league. I don't want gives. A lot of teams have given up on him because he's never been viewed as the starter. He's viewed as a replaceable backup. The Browns were ready to have him as their number two. They, they really loved him last year. So the story is Deshaun Watson was going to be suspended for the first 11 games. They had Josh Dobbs there in the building knowing Watson's going to get suspended. We don't know how long, but Jacoby Brissett's going to start while Deshaun's out, and this guy's the number two. Well, when Watson comes back, they said, thanks for being here. We love you, but we're going. We're, we're moving on. He went to the Lions, lasted a couple of weeks on the practice squad. Lions wanted the veteran backup. Titans decided Malik Willis is so bad, we've got to win the division. We're going to sign a guy off the Lions practice squad and start him in a week. And he almost won. Almost got him in the playoffs. So then he went back to the Browns because the Browns are like, well, Jake's not here and Deshaun's the, the guy. We want him as the backup. But then Dorian Thompson-Robinson looked so good in the preseason, 
they were going to keep three. Then the Cardinals called up and they said, Colt McCoy is really not cutting it. Mm. Right? And Kyler's not ready. And Clayton Toon, not ready. We'll give you a five. Because the OC there in Arizona was the quarterback coach last year in Cleveland, Drew Petzing. So he said, we'll give you a five. Browns had no intention of trading him. Browns went, a five? <laughs> Here he is. Take him. DTR, you're number two. Oof, didn't go well. Didn't go well. One game. You know, crazy circumstances that week. Yep. About which there might be a 30 for 30 one day. But he wasn't ready. Then, P.J. Walker, struggling but gutting it out. And everyone's seeing Josh Dobbs. And you're like, well, you know, maybe we shouldn't have traded him. Then Arizona went, eh. Kyler's back next week. You could have him. But look at the Jets. Are you telling me the Jets wouldn't have won that game last night with Josh Dobbs? They would have won it. Would the Falcons have beaten Josh Dobbs' old team last night if they had him? Maybe. I think they have a pretty good shot. Pretty good shot. I think the Browns would have beaten the Seahawks with Josh Dobbs. I think they should have beaten him with P.J. Walker, but that's neither here nor there. They won yesterday with Deshaun Watson. When for the first time since they got Deshaun Watson, he looked like the guy that was lighting it up in Houston. He went 14-14 of 14 in the second half. He used his legs, even with a bad ankle that needed an MRI today. All right, he left the game in a walking boot. But he was the guy... Everybody missed on Josh Dobbs. Everybody. Everybody. Now, am I convinced he can maintain this level of play the rest of the season? I don't know. I don't want to be the guy that says he's on his sixth team in 11 months. Not everybody was wrong, right? Sure. Maybe there is a ceiling here, but what? I, I, I'm not going to ruin it. It is so much fun to watch. So much fun. So much fun. And guess who's coming back soon? The best receiver in football. They are undefeated <laughs> without Justin Jefferson. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.